guys, so today I want to talk about whether or not I'm a fangirl. So I've seen lots of comments uh, from recent videos that I'm being a, like a fangirl to the Nintendo console and company because of the way I talk about other companies and the way I talk about Nintendo. And I kind of analyze, I kind of want to analyze whether or not I'm being biased towards Nintendo and being unfair to the other companies. So first, I'm gonna talk about the other companies and then Nintendo. And like I've mentioned in some of the comments, um, I've already talked about how much I enjoyed the Xbox Game Pass. I don't remember the comments on that video because it was a while ago, but basically I said that I started playing and I've been able to discover so many new games that I've never played or never would have played if it wasn't for the Game Pass. So I really really enjoyed it, that I love the Xbox Series S, it's uh, very fast and I had no issues with it. At that moment I guess I sounded like I was fangirling, fangirling over Xbox, Microsoft. And for the PlayStation 5, you can watch my last uh, PlayStation 5 video. Basically I was complaining about it because it had no games. Um, and for Nintendo, I guess I've been talking positively about it when I'm comparing Nintendo to other co companies or consoles. But I think most people forget or didn't watch the video. I, I actually don't know if I talked about it or not, but I hate the Switch Lite. So my issue with Nintendo or my what my issue was with Nintendo is that I kind of quit gaming because of the Switch Lite. So I love the 3DS, had no issues with it, except for the fact that I never used the 3D function. I love the games on 3DS and um, I really didn't like the Wii at all. Wii U, sorry. Wii U at all because I didn't feel like there were enough games that I enjoyed on it and they never released a uh, new Animal Crossing which was what I got a Wii U for um, because I thought that they would be releasing one but they never did. I, when I got the Switch, I got it like, when was it? I know it was a few years after it released, one or two years after it released. I got it along with uh, Kirby Star Allies, which was the first Kirby game, Kirby game that was released. I got it for birthday, my birthday. My husband always gives me the Kirby games when on my birthday. So I think the last time I got the remake one for Switch and stuff like that. So. I started playing and I never finished it, which tells a lot because I usually do finish all the Kirby games and play it. Um, really didn't enjoy it that much and I'm like, hmm, weird. <laughs> um, and I was playing it on handheld. And then there was a few games, there were a few games that I enjoyed, but you know, after a while I got the Switch Lite because I'm like, oh, I can leave the Switch connected to the TV and just use the Switch Lite for myself because, I don't know, although we can share the console and we can have different profiles, I just prefer having my own machine, I guess. And um, I got the Switch Lite Pokemon Edition with the, what was it, Sword and Shield, the one that's gray with the pink and blue colors, because it looked cool. Uh, I, I really like how it looks, I still have it. And I started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield on it, and I just did not enjoy the experience. Um, really, really disliked the game uh, after I got the Switch Lite. And I thought it was just the games because at that time I was already playing on other consoles like the Xbox and PlayStation. So I'm like, wow, the Switch sucks uh, performance wise. The games don't look that good anymore. And although I enjoyed Breath of the Wild, I haven't enjoyed any other games that much. Um, I'm just gonna see what happens in the future and blah blah blah. So I kind of stopped playing on Switch in general. And this is when I started like feeling that Switch was really underpowered. And also it didn't have the Bluetooth uh, connection for audio. So I had to get an adapter and things like that. I, I'm like, this sucks. Why do I have to buy an adapter just to be able to use my wireless headsets? So yeah, um, there were you know small things like that. Uh, I hated that 
the menu screen was so boring compared to like the 3DS where you could use different themes. So I had a lot of complaints about the Nintendo in gen uh, Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite mostly in general. So I didn't game much on it. When I got Violet, Scarlet and Violet, I started playing it. I'm like, this game is so hard to play on the Switch Lite because I couldn't see the little uh, random Pokemons that would pop up. I'm just running around and I'm running over Pokemons, you know, in the field. I can't even see them, it's so small and everything looks so bad. I know that the game is not the most like pretty game ever, but still it looked horrible on the Switch Lite. So I'm like, I think, I think this might be an issue of the hardware because I haven't been able to like enjoy the games that are supposed to be pretty decent. I'm not only talking about Pokemon, but other games like um, uh, Fire Emblem and other cool games that had good reviews. I haven't been able to enjoy them at all. Uh, I dropped most of them. So when I got the chance, I bought the Switch OLED. Um, I got the Splatoon version, which is the limited edition. And I'm like, okay, so I'll try again. And then everything changed from there. Um, I felt that the game just looked completely different to me. So the screen size is much better than the Switch Lite. Um, it's a little bit faster, I think. I'm not sure if I noticed that because I haven't compared it. But I do think it's a little bit faster, I believe. Maybe it's just placebo, I don't know. The size of the machine, the console is better. I think the Switch Lite is a little bit too small for me, which makes no sense because I love the Vita. And, but mostly it's because of the OLED screen, you know. Uh, it's bigger and it's so much more prettier. It's a lot of difference, night and day difference. When you compare the handheld mode on regular Switch, the Switch Lite and the Switch OLED. Even with the Switch OLED and the regular Switch, you can tell the difference, but when you put it next to a light, it's like, why was I playing on that piece of crap? <laughs> so after that, I've been able to play a lot more games. I've been able to enjoy all the good games on Nintendo. So I had the opposite issue of the PlayStation 5 where I couldn't find games that I was enjoying like uh, exclusive or first party titles on PlayStation 5. Even though the hardware was powerful and really good um, on Switch, I wasn't like enjoying the games because the hardware I was using was not good enough. So that was fixed, at least for me with the Switch OLED. I know it's still slow and not the best performing console, but to me, for me, it was enough to be able to enjoy these games again. Now I've had issues with some games not being optimized on Switch, but I don't know if I can blame Nintendo for that because these games don't seem like games that are really hard to, opt well, how do you call it? These, these games didn't seem like they require a lot of resources. For example, uh, games like Soldiers, uh, it's an indie game, it's 2D like metroidvania style or action adventure style and they it took so long to load and save and it crashed many times uh there were games like that on vita and there are always games like that um so i don't know if it's nintendo's fault or you know the, the console switch's fault so I can't really comment on that, but other than those few games, I haven't had an issue with like first party titles, for example. I've never had issues with the Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild crashing, you know. Um, even Pokemon, it doesn't perform well in the game, but usually it never crashed on me. I've never had like the game breaking bugs. It just looks wonky sometimes. So yeah, I feel like since I have these complaints and complaints and I've loved at least one console from each company. I can't really say I'm a fangirl of Nintendo. Um, to, in my mind, a fangirl or a fanboy is someone who is blindly um, ro loyal, loyal to a company or a product or whatever, you know. So I feel like I don't fit that category. As with everyone, I have preferences of types of games. Like I honestly prefer Japanese games over Western games uh, or maybe some Asian games over Western games because of the types of games they are or how they look. For example, I'm not into shooters like first, part, 
FPS first person shooters. I'm not into like racing games that much. I'm not into sports games and um, the dog started barking again. I cannot make a video without the dog starting to bark, but I can't do anything about it. It's not my dog. <laughs> and because of that, I tend to always get sucked it more into Nintendo's console and games because they make more games that I enjoy. But it's not like I don't enjoy the other company's works. For example, like I said, on Vita, they had so much good stuff. I really love the P PSP also. I used to play a lot on it. I think I actually, when the PSP was new and I was young, um, I got the PSP before I got the DS. So, and it was more expensive too. And I didn't have money. I got my parents to buy for me. Um, I got the Taiko game and uh, Darkstalkers, the collection or something, and uh, Guilty Gear, things like that, you know, games that I really wanted to play on a PSP because it wasn't on a DS. Um, so yeah, I remember being the weird one in, around me, I was the only one who had a PSP instead of a DS. So I am, I'm pretty sure I'm not a fangirl, I just follow the games that I want to play and the console just has to work <laughs> like as long as it's comfortable it doesn't crash it looks good I don't care which company the console is from I just like the games so yeah but in the end I end up always getting a Nintendo console console because I like Pokemon Pokemon Pearl I remember getting pretty late uh, because I didn't have a DS and by the time I got a DS, it wasn't new, but I still wanted to play it. So yeah, basically to me, a Nintendo console is a console I get just to play Pokemon games. And then, and then I play other games because I do want to play the other games too, like Kirby, Animal Crossing, uh, some of the Mario RPG or Mario and Luigi RPG games, things like that, like I, I enjoy. And since those aren't enough to satisfy me over the you know few years that the console's lifespan is I end up getting other games like uh, Fire Emblem and other first party titles that are also good and of course some surprising games that I usually don't enjoy like Zelda when they change the formula to be open world you know Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom things like that and they've been great so yeah um, I just follow the games, not the companies, so <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. And let me know if you think I'm being a fangirl or being unfair towards the other companies. And also, I do not talk about the Xbox anymore that much because it broke. <laughs> that was the only console we've ever gotten from Microsoft because we don't own or we have never owned an Xbox before. And we decided to get the Xbox Series S because we wanted to use Game Pass. Just to play Game Pass games because it's pretty cool, right? And it broke. <laughs> it didn't last very long. And we have never had a console break on us. Ever. This is the first console that ever broke. And it wasn't like it didn't start or it just, you know, the red ring of death type of thing. It just didn't run games anymore. Like, there would always be, um, like a, how do you call it? Like a visual glitch on all the games. Or some games wouldn't boot and things like that so it wasn't um, I, we were never sure what happened because like we treated that console the same as with other consoles it's not like it was uh, overheating or anything like that so who knows what happened but like that made us lose a little bit of trust in you know Microsoft because of the personal experience but I don't know. I guess if they make another cool console or maybe if we can get the Xbox Series X for cheap, we'll try it out again. But we didn't have a good experience with Xbox or right, Microsoft. Anyways, that's my story. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.